Hey, hallo meine lieben Zuschauer und herzlich willkommen zu einer Folge zu Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Wenn euch das Video gefällt, dann lasst ein Abo und ein Like da und ich wünsche euch jetzt viel Spaß mit dem Video. Ja moin Leute ne? und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einem neuen Part von Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Ja, beim letzten Mal wurde uns unser Essen gebobst und jetzt müssen wir Neues zusammensammeln von fiesen Truthähnen. Und das wird ein riesen Spaß. Jeder erzählt auch gerade ein bisschen äh, sowas über sich von den Charakteren. Das ist auch sehr schön. Komme ich denn da dran? Ach, da. Was wartet hier oben auf mich? Mal wieder so ein Fragment. Bisher hatte ich noch keinen Verwendungszweck dafür. Die Kiste da oben, die gönnen wir uns. Beziehungsweise den Container. Als ob ich einen Container zurücklasse, Leute. Und runter. Wir müssen immer noch Seetankpilze sammeln. Uh, der Gorilla macht irgendwas. Der, der hat doch da schon reingeknabbert. So, dann her mit den Pilzen. Ich bin ja nicht so der große Pilzfan. Das interessiert mich auf. Ja, klingt nach einer guten Theorie. Alles gut. Schon wieder? Jetzt aber nicht die falschen Pilze wieder futtern. Ich muss zum selben Lager auch wieder zurück. Alright then. That should be us good for food now. Yeah. Looks like that'll last us a little while. What's wrong, Mia? Who's there? Come out! Huh? Oliaris! <sighs> yeah, much better. I owe you. What are you doing over this way? I thought you were going to the castle. Yeah. No, I went. And this is what I got for my trouble. So, tell us, what happened? But why, Your Majesty? Why would you attack Colony 4? You came into contact with Ouroboros, did you not? <gasps> I'd call it burning out the contagion. C contagion? You're implying we've been contaminated? Have you not? 
You've been removed from the protection of the flame clocks. You no longer need to wager your lives in battle. Who struggles not in life deserves not to live. That is the compact of our nation, and moreover, the truth. Majesty, my queen. Yet, to punish you all for fate's machinations would be a misstep. Therefore, I shall grant you a chance. What must I do? Eliminate Ouroboros. <gasps> you want me to... Noah and the rest? Naturally, I am cognizant of the fact that the enemy is wily and capable. I have no intention of sending you alone. <gasps> Kamaravi! Wha why are you here? Ethel. Uh, how? But you're not even on the same side. Entertainment. Pardon? Those who have been released from the Flame Clock's sacred indenture cannot be affected by the Mobius Iris. To bring you back under control, I would have to force your rebirth. But that wouldn't be nearly as fun. The power you two wield surpasses even some of our consuls. I have great hopes for you. Ethel. Kamaravi. They gave Ethel and Kamaravi new phronises. They've been made specifically to kill Ouroboros. The tune-up might take a little while. Though... You don't have much time. The two of them are after your heads. You're sure of this? Really? That's why I came here. To give you warning. They already know your rough position. That's how I found you in the first place. What's this? Plans of the castle. They were tuning up my Pharonis when I happened upon them. They include schematics for the Annihilator. Take them and go back to Colony 4. Commander, you mean... If they can find us wherever we are, I want to at least secure a way for us to put up a fight. Am I wrong? <laughs> but, Mom, we can't very well. Also, about Noah's group. If you happen across them, tell them this. I will use lethal force, yes? What? Furthermore, tell them I wish them all the best of luck. I hope they reach their goal. Commander? Ethel, she sounds serious. And still telling us to just keep going? Well, that's Ethel for you. Hard-headed as they come. Won't she get into trouble because of you slipping out? Hardly. I'm just one missing foot soldier. No one's gonna pay it any mind. Huh? But your wounds earlier. Uh, truth is, air from falling off a cliff on the way here. It was dark as snuff. <laughs> Are you tugging my wings? Well, anyhow, it's nothing for you lot to fret over. This is our problem now. You focus on achieving your objective. We appreciate it. Ah, but man, you know, why's the commander got to duke out with you lot, eh? And why was our foe Kamaravi there, the Ashbar? Feels like the whole world's turned on its head. All righty. I'm heading back. Got it? Do lot scoot on along out of these parts. There's still some time before they're done tweaking. And with you on foot... We're not running away. Not after all this. Huh? I'm staying too. 
What? Really? That light we saw a while back. If that... if that had come from the Annihilator... Even if we were to somehow reach our destination, if it was at the cost of all your lives, it wouldn't be worth it. <sighs> Surviving like that... I couldn't bear it. Mimi... Mia... Boliaris... The castle plans... Can you share them? Noah... You're not... You wouldn't. The fact remains... It was us that destroyed your clock. Therefore... Yes, but that's... Either way... I think it's clear at least part of the blame... Lies with us. It's only fair then... That we destroy this Annihilator. Agreed? You for real? I'd be up for a little detour. Same here. He did offer us shelter. That creates an obligation. No way around. Someone here needs to keep friends in line. Count Riku in. If plan on fighting, we'll need first-rate chef too. Oh. And that's it. No looking back. Well, my de facto partner's running full steam ahead. I mean, I can't very well go backwards, can I now? Oh, fine. Go on, then. You wouldn't make it far inside the castle without a proper healer anyway. Uni. Thanks, guys. You're the best. I'll head back to Colony 4, in case the shit hits the fan. Good luck, then, to all of you. Yeah, we'll be all right. Remember, we're up against the castle. Get too close, and we may come under fire. What's our plan? I think we'll be able to manage, as long as we're careful. Come to think of it, you used to go to the castle for Offseer training once a year, right, no? The Black Fog. Is there much there? There's actually quite a bit. Around this time, the whole area is shrouded in it. They couldn't find us in that cave in Neil Valley, right? And you think we can repeat that? Maybe. Using the fog to approach is clever, but risky. What if an annihilation event occurs? You know... I hadn't really given it much thought up until you mentioned it, but, oddly, it hasn't been happening. Seriously? I'm not sure why. Behind the castle, there's an ether deposit being mined, in an area facing a lake. The ether being obtained there is then delivered into the castle through a freight entrance. So that's where we'll get our sneak on. There won't be anyone in the containers. If we can just get to them, without being spotted... Then we can get into the castle. Okay, let's assume we do give the guards the slip. What do we do once we're inside the place? Tyon, the sensors. What was the Colony 4 soldiers' search radius, with the fog out? Their scanning range... I put in the ballpark of 15 metri. Look here. In the reserve area, there's a maintenance hatch that leads directly to the outer wall. If we make it through here and get to the main housing, it'll land us in front of the Annihilator. Less chance of being spotted by troops outside, too. We can do this. There's one concern. The castle is the Queen's residence. What if we're found by the consuls? Then I guess we'll have a fight on our hands. But it's not like we don't have a retreat. Here. In Keves, after a homecoming, they wash away the belongings of the dead as part of a ritual. 
It's an understated affair. And the channel they use for it is here. It flows straight out, connecting to the lake outside the castle. I see. So we open a hatch near the Annihilator, ride the current, and we should come out right at the lake. More snuffy and water. Every time we run, why do we always end up getting drenched? I mean, feathers are a bitch to dry. Every time being our grand total of once. Well, let's just hope we don't have to fight. That's the ideal case. That's it then. Mm. Ready whatever supplies you need. Then we can go. Das war mal eine lange Sequenz. Und wir haben jetzt auf jeden Fall was vor uns. Bei der Königin könnte ich mir übrigens vorstellen, dass das irgendwie so eine zweite Äffel ist. Also die Stimme klang zumindest sehr ähnlich und auch vom Aussehen her ähneln die sich ein bisschen, wenn man die Maske sich wegdenkt. Ihr kleinen Fieslinge, ihr habt unser Essen gemopst. Well, isn't that something? Okay. Da jetzt einfach runter, ne? Is that what I think it is? Da oben wartet nur eine Ethersphäre auf mich, da muss ich nicht hoch. Ethersphären sind auch so Sachen, die ich Oskin absammel. Oder käme ich da. Ne, das ist auch ein weiter Weg, okay. Dann habe ich nichts gesagt. Ich habe nicht gesehen, dass es darüber dahin weitergeht, wo ich hin will. Also wir haben dort 100 Pro einen Kampf mit irgendeinem Konsul vor uns. Das sehe ich doch jetzt schon. Entweder mit denen, mit Kamuravi oder Effel. Obwohl ich Effel eigentlich nicht bekämpfen will. Sie will ja eigentlich auch äh, nur Kolonie 4 verteidigen. Nur deswegen kämpft sie wahrscheinlich gegen uns. Sobald Kolonie 4 in Sicherheit ist, kämpft sie wahrscheinlich nicht mehr. Scheinbar. Den Ether-Kanal hier nehme ich auf jeden Fall mit. Das sieht nach Spaß aus. Höhenangst. Das funktioniert nicht, glaub mir, ich hab's versucht. Of all the ways we could meet again, it ends up being this. The irony of it all. We are bound. That is how I see it. Bound? That certainly sounds like you. You're talking about... Fate. I think that is how you would put it. Fate, you say? Why? Why did you agree to be reborn? So you know. There were rumors that you were imprisoned, that you took the blame for the colony's seizure. It was only fitting. And perhaps I should have killed you there and then.
only through death can our feud be resolved. In a way, I am grateful. Now that I've been blessed with a Pharaonis, and another chance. Another chance? A Pharaonis? This is for me. Absolutely. It's been tailor-made to suit your every need. The same goes for his Pharaonis. So, you better make the most of it, with what life you have left, hmm? Huh? Uh. You've noticed, good girl. I guess they don't call you Silvercoat Ethel for nothing. What a clever thing you are. Those ones are a bit special. They're tied to both yours and Kamarabi's lives. The more the two of you get heated up, the more your power grows. Oh, doesn't that sound sublime? Even though you're released from the struggle of life, your precious life force will connect straight to origin. showed me their image, but just who are they? They seem like soldiers from Kevis and Agnes, but are they human? Their hope. Hope? Dreams, desires, the future. Yes, they are hope personified. Indeed, they are your hope. They are everyone's hope, yes. I see. And there's only one choice. Yes, only one. Oh, ich darf weiterlaufen. 300 Meter über Äste rennen. Let's go. Ich habe ein mieses Gefühl übrigens, was Effel und Kamurawi angeht. Ein sehr mieses. Warte, nicht runterfallen? <lacht> Einmal extra runterspringen. Topographical Info updated. Eine antike Parkour. Was wir schätzt uns hier erwarten? Irgendwo in der Nähe gab es einen Absch N -N Wurf. Hier ist auch nochmal ein Lager. Here's Kevis Castle. It'll still take a while on foot. We'll rest here today, then head out at first light. What a relief. I was worried. About the water. Ah. Uh. You all right? Y yeah, my hand slipped. Better wash this again. Mm. Am I losing feeling? It's 
Tomorrow, we'll finally reach the castle lands. I want us to be at our readiest. We should run one final check of everyone's equipment. Fine for you, isn't it? All that time you've got. Hmm? We keep taking this at such a casual pace. No sword march. Seems so distant. Mia? What am I even doing? I can't. You still have two months left. If we take care of this now, we can ensure the colony's safety. Just maybe we can make an ally of people in the castle. It'll make getting to Sword March a bit easier. Still! It's two months. Might as well be nothing. But... I... You did agree to doing this. Well, yeah, but... I know I did, but... Look, I know... It was a snap decision. I understand why you're upset. Let's just... Take it easy tonight. Take a moment to breathe. Why wouldn't I be upset? Take what easy? We rest today, and tomorrow. Before I know it, it'll be time. And then I'll be... I mean, I get that, but we... You don't get it! Not at all! What a spark. Know it, do you... Do you think you're perfect? Huh? How could I be perfect? I I'm just a regular guy. Right? Even Mimi has her faults. We're only human. The truth is, she's terrified. She needs someone to tell her that everything will be all right. I mean, you. <sighs> Never seen her like this. Poor Mimi. She actually tells you stuff. I have seen her thoughts, you know. No, no, no. I I'm not talking about any of that. She just needed to vent. She did? I'm actually kind of jealous. Huh? You're an offseer, Noah. I thought you were sharper than this. What's that supposed to... You better give her a good apology later, you hear? Got it? Promise me that. Uh... Sure. Yeah, uh, you can count me out for any of that. Huh? Well, maybe. Maybe? What you mean? Uh, uh, forget it. In any case, it has no bearing on our objective. Too right. We'll get all this done. The next stop, the city. Right. For Mio's sake. <laughs> hmm? First time we've agreed on something, eh? It is. Hey. What's that in aid of? Do the right thing. Come on. What? Sorry, but I refuse to debase myself like this. All right, you be that way. <laughs> Manada. Possibly eat portion of Riku. Meh. No more snooze. Sun already hang high in sky.
Sorry about last night. I was just feeling the pressure. I should be sorry. I didn't realize. It must be tough for you, I'm sure. This, uh, belonged to a friend. We served in the same colony. She was my officer partner. Miabi was her name. So your officers sometimes work in pairs? Yeah. You know, I was surprised when you joined in and played alongside me back then. Anyway, one day there was an experiment and she she told me to keep on living. To live life in her stead. To fight on. But... The stupid thing is... I was the one... Who was... Older than she was. <laughs> Now I see. That was... Say, wanna... exchange flutes? What? But isn't that... I, I guess it's a little too icky. No, no. I, I don't care about that. I'm just trying to say... I just say... like it... to be used a little longer. To make up for the time me Abby lost. You'll still be around after me. Mio. I get it. All right, it's a trade. You should know. Mine's seen better days too. Don't worry. I don't really mind either. Thank you for the chat. I'm kind of surprised. Surprised? Even after interlinking, there's still things I don't know about you. Well, of course. How can you when there are things I don't understand myself? You're not going to pick up on everything. Got to put it into words first. Yeah, but it doesn't always work, even then. Like last night. Oh, that. That was me being selfish. But now... I feel like we're starting to get on the same wavelength. Maybe interlinking just helped that along. To bring us a little closer together. Maybe, yeah. That might just be it. Um Mio muss man sich auch schon Sorgen machen, ne? Die hat ja nicht mehr lang. Aber irgendwie werden wir sie bestimmt noch retten. Dass die nicht nach diesen zwei Monaten den Löffel abgeben muss. Na gut. In der Stelle sage ich mal, dass wir beim nächsten Mal weitermachen. Die Cutscenes, die haben sehr viel Zeit heute eingenommen. Also... Von mir, äh, meine Schwerte aus gab es nicht sonderlich viel, aber äh, von den Filmsequenzen gab es viel. Das, äh, das ist ja auch in Ordnung. Ich sage einfach mal, wenn es euch gefallen hat, Leute, Abo und ein Like da lassen. Und wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Ciao!